background. Drop this in here. Look at that. All right. I got more parts for the container. Got to remember to change the name of the grid and get a battery and a beacon and all sorts of crazy stuff. Okay, I need um, four metal grids. We need cobalt. How many cobalt for metal grids? Yeah, we do. We need cobalt. No, probably not. <laughs> I think cobalt's part of the part of the base thing. Yeah, co cobalt is available in vanilla, but it's fairly hard to find and you don't I don't think you get any of it to start out with because the metal grid is one of the kind of the first choke points that you get although most people just take and grind off the uh, the hydrogen thruster on the bottom of the pod to get a metal grid or take some of the uh, the thrusters off Isn't that just like robbing Peter to pay Paul? The problem's going to be there a few hours later. Yep. So that Although sounds the like a... the hydrogen thruster, uh, it's, you know, the Atmos, you can use those to convert the pod over into a flyable vehicle, but uh, the hydrogen one, not so much usually. I think I need 10 motors. That's a guess. I just saw the number, but I, I've i been distracted. Mm -hmm. The five minutes it took me to run around here that I totally forgot. Because I'm a, apparently a highly trained space professional. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I've done this. So our goal here today is to see how many times we can die while oh, building, oh, while building a simple, exploded. was that the? Yeah, uh, that was it. Yeah, it's gone. The pod just went boom. Okay, I'm heading back then. But you were close. But you found the bookmarks of the other stuff. Take a different yeah. path. See if you can find a different. Uh, yeah, I am looping back in a little different path so that hopefully we get some more minerals and okay. resources. We need uh, th uh, thirty-five construction comps, thirty and five. Um, Four metal grids and 20 tubes, and then we'll have a small container. Uh, here comes a wolf. Uh, let's not damage the block you're standing on there, puppy. Aw. One puppy down. Um, helpful tip. Um, when you go to loot the wolves, yeah, you can't have the button selected for... Do I have any steel on me? Yeah, I did. Um, for other other inventories, because the oh, wolf. Oh, you have to have the helmet. Yeah, because it's a yeah. standalone thing. Right. And uh, what happens is, if you select other inventories, you don't see the wolf the wolf's inventory at all. Right. And. Um, it's like picking up uh, your backpack after you die. You have to be on the the helmet. Because if you go in on other inventories, you don't see any, any of your stuff. Or at least that's what I found to be the case. And I picked up a few bodies <laughs> of mine. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to start the beacon right here because I got nowhere else to put it. I'll go add that to the build queue also. I don't remember what the day settings are here. We could be in for a lot of dark or very little. I don't remember. All right, added that to the queue. Tells me four things can't put in a reduction, so we're definitely going to have to figure out when we're building a refinery here. But 
the beacon started. I'll have to space out a um, any more steel. Nope. Well, why do I have all these interior plates? Who knows? Oh, radio comps. Yeah, those are going to be hard to get, too. Well, we just have to make sure we don't get more than a kilometer away from the base. I guess let's get more ore. And then... I mean, we could make this more interesting. I could be playing music in the background. We could be <laughs> could be doing a song and a dance. <laughs> I could put the collar cam on the do on the dogs. Ooh. Yeah, so that you know, instead of having my picture, we see the dogs <laughs> running around the house. <laughs> you see what the dogs see. Yeah. Just just like that, right up. Yeah, the game was kind of boring, but then the dog started licking his butt, and <laughs> it got better. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't want to comment on the quality of this program, but the dog cam where the dog was licking his butt, that was the best part. These people know what the public wants. <laughs> I know we need comps, so let's snag those. Yeah, if nothing else, if we get the, course, the container working, I don't have to run back and forth the door. Mm -hmm. And we can um, we can break the pod down. Yeah, that metal grids. I don't know. Do we want to grind down the engine and? Hmm? It'd be fine with me. I we, it's we taking the chance. Yeah. We'll be stranded here on this weird place. Well, let's make sure. Nope, we ain't getting scrap. How simple did we make this thing? <laughs> All right, I took two of the engines down. That should give us enough to rebuild two engines. Okay. Not enough to do that. Still need steel plate for the beacon. But now we just need uh, two more metal grids and 20 small steel tubes. Do we need a basic... Oh, we can't make those in this file kit, can we? I think that needs the basic refinery. Let's check. Hmm. Refill my battery. I have my game sounds turned all the way down to almost nothing. Mm -hmm. Because I know that people don't want me to drone myself out. <laughs> Yeah, we can't make small steel tubes. We have to build the base refinery. Hmm. Or the, oh, I'm sorry, not the refinery, the basic assembler. Hey, we're experts at this game. We've played it for more than six hours. We, <laughs> we don't use in terms incorrectly. All right, assembler. Here it is. Uh, artificial mass... Gravity generator, spherical, and a space ball. We don't need those for any time soon. Assembler. Basic assembler. Steel plates, construction comps, motors, displays, 80 computers. Hmm. That seems like a outrageous. Is there a bundle with the assembler in it? We'll check the refinery. The we're, ref we're doing progression too, right? No, it's turned off. Oh, okay. Don't have to worry about that. Why did you want a progression turned on? No, no, I, uh, I, I find it to be quite 
a pain in the butt, but oh, okay, I got a signal coming down that I actually see. Sir, watch your language. This is an X-rated channel. Oh, okay. <laughs> pain in the butt is no good. What am I saying? I, I know. <laughs> Yeah, I need more steel plate. And we take back up. What do we carry? Comps. Don't need here. Don't need any. All right. Mm -hmm. Ton of steel plates we need. I keep jumping into this hole I built for the mine, and uh, you would think I would clear the brush away here to make it easier to see stuff. Nah, why do that? Yeah, you know, it just complicates things. It's better to keep jumping into this mystery spot and going. I hope I make it in this time. Okay, here we go. Get those two out of the way. There we go. That did literally nothing to make it easier to see. Just, I think you get spoiled when you're mm. building the big miner and you know the automated mining drill ship and stuff. That you forget there's still a little challenge in just coming through here and building a basic hole and not getting yourself stuck in it. currently doing. Do, 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 do. I don't know. Show tunes? That might pass the time. Mm. I don't know. Some way to pass the time while we're running back and forth. Things will get better when John gets here. Mm. No pressure on John. All right. I had a signal out here that had... 10 minutes left on it at least and the thing just disappeared. One that I could actually see. Now let me make sure that I didn't turn off my HUD. Well that sounds like you're being robbed. Normal display. Still going to go to the general area where the thing was. Maybe I can still pick it up but gosh. You've been robbed. Yep. I was robbed, I'm telling you. It was those kids from the next valley over. Mm. All right, let me clean out my build planner just in case I'm missing anything. One, two, and three. Yep, they're all there. And they all say the same thing. You don't have enough stuff. All right, steel plates. Hmm. Okay, I'm building this tunnel in a perfectly unstraight line. Yes. Yeah. Most of my tunnels look like they were blazed in a blinding drunk anyway, so don't feel bad about it. Why is it so hard to keep the drill straight, you know? But yeah, as soon as we can get a um, a drill head on a piston and then we can build an automated shipyard and build ourselves a um, um, I mean, we have no restriction except what we impose on ourselves here. Mm -hmm. So if we can get a, uh, uh, we can get a mining ship, we can send it right up there to, you know, wherever you get a spot. We just, we can get it automated and be more efficient. Plus the automated miners, I mean, it's, it's not like they don't crash. Hmm. 
constantly, occasionally, sometimes, all the all the time. <laughs> Take your pick. Without exception. <laughs> yep. But that's part of the fun of them. I mean, if they work flawlessly, you know, where would be the challenge? Everybody would build one and. And again, we do have encounters turned on, so mm -hmm. you know we have a chance of somebody flying by and not being happy that we got approved by the zoning commission to build a military base near there. I mean, we can't be accused of deforestation. There's like no trees around here. <laughs> and that's not our fault. I mean, if if we got accused of that, we'd have to say, well, where's all the stumps? <laughs> that you're accused of, of the trees that you're accusing us of taking. And say that louder, I can't hear you. I get tinnitus after dynamite explosions. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful okay. walking. There's big potholes around here. Yes, there are. Lots of ridges and... So what are we going to ask John to do? How about go to the top of that mountain and bring us back ice? Because <laughs> that's the only ice I've seen so far is that big pile at the top of the mountain. Yeah, I haven't picked up any signals for it yet, so... All right. Not, not ruling out an underground ice deposit because there's plenty of those around. But, uh, you know, but with the limitations of the 50 meters on the drill, we may be walking all over them and never, never see them. Well, yeah, it's the same thing with the cobalt. I mean, if your angle's not right, you're never going to... Mm -hmm. So like a true professional, I built the platform right butt up against the hole where you go in and out of the mining the, out of the mining tunnel. Mm -hmm. So every time I come out of there, people, if anyone's watching this, because um, if you are, you deserve what you get, you, um, you get presented with this blaze of me doing this rapid 360 mm -hmm. through the tunnel, the dirt, and the grass to get out of the little hole that I dug myself into. <laughs> All right, some steel plates. The rest of the signals, for gosh sakes. I know. I went up there, and I'm walking back from a completely different area, and I'm not finding anything just yet. So the Valheim guys had a good time last night. Yeah. They were um, uh, they were up when I woke up this morning. Really? <laughs> yes, they were. So that was Scotty and who else was with them? Uh, Stash logged off, I think, first. I don't know when night disappeared on them. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Outwit logged off like... Um, four hours and 15 minutes ago <laughs> and then Scotty logged off like four hours ago <laughs> it was because it was, I it's got up and I, yeah I got up and I was like okay ready to start a bright new day oh wait look <laughs> these, <laughs> these guys, guys haven't finished theirs yet <laughs> yeah they haven't finished their yesterday yet they're so that game has sold a million copies already Hmm. Well, I think, uh, you know, well, wasn't Viking saying he's been playing it for a year in, in pre... Uh, yeah, well, his... his um, Alpha or beta his, or whatever. Yeah, well, his his in to playing that game was he... I mean, he literally reached out to, you know, like, people with the message of, hey, uh, we were at the high school together. Mm -hmm. Like, he's... He knew some of the people that were involved in that or where they were from or... You know, like where the studio was from so 
you know, when they're getting, and even that didn't get him, like, the first keys. He still had to wait. Mm -hmm. But, like, he was definitely, I, I guess, you know, thrilled with the prospects that mm -hmm. this was a game that was developed in his. Oh, I think I found a cobalt boulder. A boulder? That would be awesome. Definitely a cobalt boulder. <laughs> Let me mark this sucker right away. I'm going to drill some of this off and bring it back to base with me. Damn, don't forget the bookmark it. It is. I already GPS. Is it a it. real cobalt boulder or is it one of those? It says cobalt and then you start drilling. And well, it, it says cobalt. It looks like it's got a ro lot of rock in it too, but it is. You can definitely see the blue on the, on the surface of the thing. I wonder if that, that false reading on the boulder happens more often only when we're running a mod that modifies the ores. Hmm. But it doesn't make sense that it would do it then, but we've certainly seen it every time we've had an ore modifier. You know, the, the fake boulder. And we have... I mean, we've had we've got the screenshots of it. We've talked about them before. The um, you know, like Scotty found a mag magnesium boulder. Mm -hmm. I come walking up to it and I'm like, "Where is it? It's nickel!" And he's yelling that I can't see it. And it's like, "Let's share your screen," you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. What does the windmill need again? Uh, girders. Computers, motors, construction comps. I don't think we can make girders here either. Production. Oh no, we can't make girders. Did I put them in queue? Yes, I did. No one here is worried about dying anytime soon, so the construction crew is a uh, queue. Words that we'll figure out one time or another is not as uh, micromanaged I think because we're not worried about running out of oxygen okay we've got the 10 motors alright we still need two metal grids and the tubes and we can't get the tubes until we build the refinery Pardon me, we can't get the refinery. Not the refinery. I'm going to say that a lot. The basic assembler. Until we get um, more steel, construction comps, displays, and a ton of computers. Do you remember needing like 80 computers for the first assembler? Fifty. Maybe, but not 80. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's... Um, I mean, there's there's still a challenge in the game with the basic parts. It's not like there's no challenge in the beginning. I just think the... Um, and hopefully we should have zero deaths. I mean, if we're playing this game on a harder setting... There's no reason for us to be dying in pure vanilla. Unless the wolves gay. And we ain't on the alien planet. The spiders on the alien planet can kill you one way or another. Mm. Okay, so we got cobalt, iron, magnesium marked so far. How did you find that windjammer game? Oh, uh, actually, that's the one that John bought for, for me. He, he was looking for something new, and he, he just picked that one up, and it, it, he, he bought a copy for me, for Tristan, his grandson, for Jeff, and for himself, and it was like 
$2.25 a copy for the game, buying the four pack. So, yeah, there's a lot of gems down there in the uh, in the discount bin. Mm -hmm. My wife and I had that conversation during our coffee run today because I was telling them about the you know the guys playing the uh, Viking game, right? Which at nineteen dollars. You know, like, you know, and rightfully so, her example was, if you compare it to going to the movie theater. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> you know, because that's, um, like, I remember the first time I tried to tell somebody that for me to go to the movies, it's $100. And they were like, there's no way it costs $100. I'm like, okay, well, I got to buy tickets for, for five people, sometimes six or seven. You know, I gotta buy snacks. I gotta take everybody to lunch or dinner afterwards. You know, it 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 adds up, and they didn't include all that, and what they thought was the cost of going to the movie. They were just like, "Hey, there's another strong signal." Uh, Two point six four thirteen. Do you see it? No, I do not. Okay. Well, are you heading? Are you mining cobalt? So let me. I don't want to leave the base because I can't. We haven't put down a, some of the necessary parts. Okay. So you move the construction comps up because we definitely need those. And we need computers more than motors. Let me consolidate a few of these things. We definitely need girders. There it is. Okay. I'll wait till I get this batch of. Oh yeah. Well, we get silicon out of the. We don't get a ton of it. Okay. But yeah, we can make the iron ingots. Or no, we, we are making iron ingots, so we can make the girders. We are cranking out the computers. Okay. Put this, put the cobalt in the seat, or is this not going to process in the in the pot itself? I don't think. Hey, look at you! Welcome back to the valley. Hi, I'm here. Yeah, you haven't been here in a while. Lots changed since you left. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Hardly recognize the place. Okay, the only thing that the wind turbine need is girders. So, uh, I'm going to go snag that signal. All right. Um, if you want to do a couple minutes of mining. Sure. Let me, uh, where the hole is right around the base of the base. Yeah. Well, I set that, I built that just so that we had a spot to start mining. Okay. Um, oh, I didn't want to get in, but since I'm in here, I'm just going this. Okay, the cobalt is all in the chair here. Okay. And one of the things I'm building over there is a... Uh, all right, I'll grab the hydrogen bottle. Because the hydrogen isn't connected to the survival kit. Oh, it is. I'll grab the hydrogen bottle so I can get back a lot quicker. Yeah. I think I took it, so let me put it back in there. Yeah, if you toss it back in and... Since we got working jetpacks, we'll have to start making a few extras of those. Oh. <clears throat> cool. Thank you. All right, I'm going to go down, bring up some rack. So I'm not sure what our priority is because, I mean, we got to do them all.
Okay. Doggy is dead. Was that your first wolf? Yes, it was. Wow. You've never had wolves enabled or just never encountered one? Uh, well, on the other server that we played on, they were not enabled. And uh, on the moon, there aren't too many of them. So. <laughs> yeah. That's because they don't try hard. All right, so we got uh, 556 base credits, we got some motors, and we got almost a kilogram of cucumbers. And then, of course, we got ourselves a bunch of steel plate. I need to reset the uh, tower with the windmill. Now, here comes the fun part. We get the grind down a battery and watch my inventory totally fill up. No, it didn't. Oh, cool. I was expecting that. Let's check the parachute hatch and find out, as usual, it contains nothing. I don't know. There's people who don't go after these drones. I, I don't know why. I mean, it's... It's a fun little... Yeah, it's it's good resources. And it's at this point... It's down sometimes. Other times they're a major pain in the butt. But well, it's at this point I realized I was lost until I remembered, oh wait, turn my antenna back on. And then realized that that didn't make a difference either. Wait, I think you're over here. Are you over here? Or am I flying the wrong way? Am I getting lost again? I am getting lost. All right. My antenna's on. I thought I didn't go that far from you. Cool. There you go. I'm getting lost. <laughs> Just uh, let me land before I run out of fuel. All right. Where is... Huh. I don't have a GPS for the pod. You want to toss out a GPS for the uh, sure. the base there? Give it a name. Okay. What are, you, what are we going to call it? Hmm. Camp Startington? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not, call it? you're not in this valley. Okay. If it's important, it needs a cool name. There's a very long valley over here on the side of this uh, slope. So what's going to happen first? Am I going to run out of hydrogen? Let me send you the GPS on this. Okay. Okay. Adventure discovery. Yep. <laughs> All right. So adventure discovery couple of uh, space shuttles. <laughs> Always visible. Show it on the HUD. Let's make that a uh, gold thing. A kilometer away. I went further coming back to the base than I had to leave the base. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Well, that's how scout leaders lose their whole troop in the woods. 
because they don't listen to the kid that just read the book the day before and said, Scoutmaster. Oh, what's in here? Anything? Nope, just grass. Okay, now where you said the the hole to, for the mine is right at the base of the grids for the base? Yes. Is it near the tower or at the opposite end? Do you see where the, um, the cargo container is? Yes. Okay, there's a hole in the, in the grid platform right there to the right of the cargo container. Do you see it? Hmm. Okay, I see the windmill. Well, there is no windmill up there because I had to rebuild the tower because when I shot at the wolf, I accidentally shot out the <laughs> the bottom grid and it, it came straight down. It stayed standing, but it wasn't connected. Do you see this spot right here? Oh, okay. There it is. Look All at that. Right. And I was down in here once before too, son of a bitch. <laughs> Look at you. Plus two to your spelunking skills. Mm. Yeah, why do I keep oh, hopping yeah. in the chair? It does no good for me. So are we going to keep going down? Or? Um, it's going on. I guess, yeah, get or a little... Start opening up a cavern. Yeah, because we're going to have to build a rig in there. All right. All right, let's see. Can I? I got two pieces of scrap metal and one small steel rod. Steel plates. Take the computers, the comps. Let's throw that hydrogen bottle back in here. Somebody goes traveling. Did you get any meat off that wolf? Yes. Where do you want me to put cool. it? Well, until we can make him, mean, you can throw it in the chair. Okay. Until we get around to making a. Now, the, will the um, survival kit, it won't do scrap, will it? Um, well, but we don't have base, any scrap. Well, yeah, we do. There's some in the seat, and there's some in my backpack. Oh, yeah, the metal scrap. I think that's got to go through the refinery. I don't remember. Yeah, I think it'll do work in a basic, but yeah. okay. If we can make two more grids, we can put a can over here. Let me turn my I almost flew right into this. I suffered damage coming back here. Hmm. Yeah, somebody put a tree on my flight path. All right, computers, construction comps. Okay, we just need 24 girders, and we'll have a functioning windmill. We have a functioning assembler. Nope, we just need two more displays. You know, if we build a few more things, we could have even more stuff that's only half complete. <laughs> yeah. If we could do all that before John gets here, we can hear what his reaction is. Like, what are you people doing? Grab some rock there. Yeah, we definitely need to start widening out. So which way do we want to dig, vertical or horizontal from here? I think we want to go horizontal from here. 
so oh. that we get a cavern opened up down here. I mean, oh. we can make another downshaft anywhere off of it if we want to, but I think for now. Well, we have a ton now, of, there's a ton of dirt above us from there. So we can go horizontal all the way through that mountain to the other, other valley. literally make the cool tunnel. Alright, we need more. Do we need more steel plates? I think that's what we're currently short. No girders. Let's get a couple steel plates and then we'll Yep, she's cranking out girders. Yeah. Going for more stone. All right, that's... You can tell you're in the early stages of this game when you're playing with the production queue, you know? <laughs> yeah. All right. We have a working windmill. We just need some interior plate and it's finished off. So we got power. Now we just need some displays and a, a lot more computers. And steel plate. Yeah, the progression thing, I don't, I've never found it added that much to the game after the very first time you played it. Mm -hmm. I mean, because all you have to do is just, especially if you're not running a, you know, like all scrap, you just have to virtually go to the, your little lander and just start grinding it down and rebuilding it with the same parts it gives you. Yep. That should get us. Okay, the windmill's at 100%. We just need more computers for that. Ironically, we need the same things I just said five seconds ago. Oh. Yeah, that's. I was just nice as soon as you came by, that was the first thing. Zone. <laughs> yeah, well, that was the first thing I saw when you went by. Was let's make that just a tad wider. Yeah, in that uh, game that John started the other day, that I he's been inviting me to to help him out with. We found a an iron mine, and then. As I was going down to get to the iron, a cobalt signal came up that was another 80 meters down. And I was like, whoa, okay, well, that's good. We got uh, plenty of stuff here. So I made a, the tunnel down and started mining the iron to get that going. And then after we had enough iron cranked out, I opened up the, the cobalt mine and made it like a Y tunnel. <laughs> Um, it was a heck of a jump. Woo! <laughs> oh, where'd you go? I'm behind you. Oh, sorry. Now I'm in front of you.
until we can I'm gonna get that assembler online so we can get start making those small um, small steel pipes all right we need to put some signs in here exit this one <laughs> Exit through the gift shop. Inventory full. Imagine that. So the last 20 minutes of commentary is all lost because I muted my microphone. Oh, no. I know. It's probably the best part for some people on this whole video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why would you say that? Okay, I uh, got it 40 computers, and now we're cranking out other parts. I think we have enough to get the assembler working. Okay, I have a few things in my backpack. From uh, I've got eight motors. 20 construction comps, two computers, and 40 interior plates. So let me... Okay, well, we have a working basic assembler. All right. So let's see if we can queue up. Some we can. Pipe. We can queue up the steel pipes. Uh, how many do we need? 100? No, I queued up 100. Um, so, yeah, we can make everything over here in the basic assembler. But now we got to get a refinery going. Mm-hmm. And we need um, put down a couple more grids. I thought I brought steel plate with me. Oh, I must have used it. You know, if I would put a ramp here, I wouldn't have to keep jumping and missing. <laughs> But that's crazy talk. Just plain crazy talk. Now, this kind is of a... the John says smiles at you. Does it? Yeah, if you look on the back side opposite the door, mm -hmm. it looks like it's got a nose, a couple of eyes, a unibrow, and a smiling face down at the bottom. I never noticed it before John mentioned it, and we built 
since progression is on on the game that he's playing as the host, we had to build one. And I was like, son of a bitch. You're up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, look at that. You're, you're absolutely correct. Dude, this isn't, this is, it's not, it's listed as not safe for children, not cute for children. Okay. So feel free not to worry. Matter of fact, the very first video has me going, what the fuck was the name of that ship? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what the hell? And the ship's name I forgot was the Pilgrim's Prophets. Pilgrim's Promise. Mm -hmm. One of them. I got the the right and I got the Pilgrim's right. It's the after that part. Okay, I'm going to put down some more plates and then start a refinery. And then we will have a small mining operation here. And it was at this point that they realized, why did you put the assembler facing that way? What if you had put it facing this way? Could have connected it with the cargo containers easier. And it's like pasha, easy. Yeah, this thing doesn't even have a connector on the other side. Nope. Does this thing come with a connector on the bottom? I don't think so. Hmm. Oh, we are tearing I think it's got one access point. Oh, we are tearing this down. This was built by. This was placed here by an idiot. Clearly, <laughs> I mean. Okay. Well, then we'll just let him tear it down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, here it is. Assembler. Basic assembler. Here it is. So put your smiley face here. Okay, you want me to bring the resources from over here over to the basic assembler? Yeah, so bring the ingots over. Grabbing some ingots. And then I'm going to start uh, start a refinery next. All right, so there's the basic assembler complete. Right, let's get the refinery. basic refinery because there ain't no way we're building the big one. Okay, it's got one connection junction there and one right here. So we'll put it here and realize we need steel plate. Well, there's iron and the other stuff in there that you need to make it, so... As soon as we get a battery built, I'm going to order up steel plate here. Hmm. Yes, one wind turbine's not enough push to get it going, huh? Okay. Let's not build another beacon. Pay attention. Alright, basic refinery. Okay, there's the start of the basic refinery. The only thing it needs is uh, 81 steel plate. And you have, let's queue up a few, uh, another 100. So as soon as we can. So we'll widen this tunnel, and then at that chamber that you started opening up, mm -hmm. we can put the... Uh, got about stairs here. Yo, we'll get a set of stairs. We need to put some steel down there to make a connection to where the drill head and the piston's going to go. And then we can start breaking in the big bucks.
Okay, so the big thing we need, we just, let's get this thing just cranking out. Steel plate. Because mm -hmm. then we can take the rest of the materials over there. Yeah, I do. Okay. But if you can finish, if you can get 81 pieces of steel plate, that's enough to finish the refinery, and then we can do all the building over here. Okay. Um, then we can come down here and you know, actually make this look like a mine instead of just a mine. <laughs> <laughs> It'll look like a mine, yeah. not a mine. That looks too much like a hole in the ground. We need to. Hey, we got an unknown signal. Six hundred. Do you see it coming in? Yes, I do. Uh, actually, I got one that's at uh, two point nine eight kilometers out. That's only got seven minutes left on it. And we got 19 plates produced. Why did it stop? Did we run out of iron? Why did we stop? We're, we're done. We're, all what? of the iron got taken over to the other side. Oh, here. I just gave you another batch of stone. You got 19 steel sheets in there, though. Yeah. And all right. Said I have a signal that's um, uh, 660 meters. Mm -hmm. Do you have one to go get? Yeah, I got one, but it's it's three kilometers away, so let me start over there. Do you have enough time? Take the extra hydrogen tank with you. You know, you know we're going to have to put John on food. Because, I mean, we've got a ton of stuff already accomplished here. Maybe John's watching the stream, and that's why he's not joining. He's waiting for a job that he actually wants to do. <laughs> he's like, I ain't going on here with those people. They're, they're asking me to do the bad jobs. He's going to wait until we start the reactor. He wants to come here and be the, the atomic engineer. Parachute hatch. I didn't open up the inventory yet on this thing. Where is it? Oh, is it on? oh here it is. Let's see what we got. Ready? Big money, big money, big money. <laughs> 95 credits and a bag of fertilizer. That's more than I've walked out of many casinos with. Oh, we got some tofu. We got some carrots. And we got tomato seeds. say tomato I drink too much and slur my words we had an interesting music chat last night I uh, I asked uh, after you logged out of the channel I asked, I asked everyone else that was in the channel if they like smooth jazz and then played this spoken word smooth jazz singer okay. and it turned into um, a conversation where we got five minutes if you want to grab that, if you're going to grab the signal in time. Okay. Yeah, I got uh, five minutes there. Um, I'm, hit, I'm almost there. Oh, I was asking uh, Jeff about pizza bones, and he's, oh, yeah, I know what pizza bones are. And yeah, we're making a point to call him that. Like, I've been asking, like, did you give the dog your pizza bones? <laughs> um, and it's it's still going right over his head. It's still weird. <laughs> Well, I imagine, yeah, it's going over the dog's head. He doesn't know what we're talking about. But, okay, I got a bunch of parts here. Let's see what this will let me finish. Still not enough steel plates, but we are getting close to finishing the refinery. Uh, the beacon is getting closer. And the large cargo container still needs metal grids. 
but we are getting let's see I gotta remember to turn the maintenance reboot off while we're doing this us. I mean, it's one thing for it to do its cleanup because that doesn't impact us, but although it only takes a few seconds to shut down and restart, it's not that bad. I guess why break with tradition? Mm -hmm. All right, stones, steel plate. What else do we need for the refinery? Twenty-seven steel plates. Well, then it's functional. Forty-seven to finish it, but you know who counts those numbers. Like we probably need a thousand steel sheets just to finish the floors right now. Mm -hmm. That adds up. Are we going to be able to survive long enough to build a galley, or are we going to have to build the emergency daily need stuff? I don't know. But yeah, all John's tools are sitting in here. Yeah, we can't build the stairs until we can make small steel pipe anyway. And what do small steel tubes need? They just need iron ingots oh. also. The heck? <clears throat> well. Back. Cro crowbar <laughs> smashed into a box. Oh, dude, you got to go get your tools. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing to give John a shit job, but to tell him he's got to make his own tools. <laughs> yeah, you better get there quick. Cause... How far away was it? Two and a half kilometers. Oh, man, cleanup will take those. You ain't going to make it. Get yourself headed that way, though. Yeah. I made it. You made it? Yes, I did. That is some skinny your teeth work there, sir. Hmm. All right. Got all of that stuff. All right. I'm sitting in a seat for a minute. Oh, there's only 37 seconds left on this signal, damn it. Yeah, you ain't gonna, you're not going to make it back here. No. <clears throat> all right. I'm, I'm heading back. <clears throat> I'm not even going to go near that thing because it's going to go kablooey, I'll bet. In 20 seconds. Well, the server's about to restart. Oh, there we go. Yeah. And I'm about to go get a cup of coffee. And I'm going to put the standby screen back up. Right back. This is Houston contact with a test. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, end of test. Okay, we checked all four systems, and uh, you are go on modulation, all four, and keying was a go. Roger, you're locked, we're here also. This is Houston, contact with a test. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, end of test. Okay, we checked all four systems, and you are go on modulation, all four, and keying was a go. Roger, you're locked, we're here also. This is Houston, contact with a test. One, two, three, four, 
five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. End of test. Okay, we checked all four systems, and there you go on modulation, all four, and keying was a go. Roger, gear lock, we're here also. This is Houston, contact with a test. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. End of test. Okay, we checked all four systems, and there you go on modulation, all four, and keying was a go. Roger, gear lock, we're here also. This is Houston, contact with a test. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, four, three, four. Cool, and we're back. Okay, so. Cool, and we're back. Let's see what we got going on here. Um, oh, let me get out of the chair. Get that gun equipped because there's a wolf coming somewhere. I know it. Just feel it. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, those are organics. Uh, we need them, but we can get them easy. Let's see, do we have any steel? Nope. All right. Do we have any beacons? No. All right. Let's get some more. What do we need to finish this refinery? I think it's just iron. Um, rifle away before we accidentally blow stuff up. All right, we need yeah, twelve more steel plates. And then we can stop running back and forth. All right, the screen just came back up as I walked into the room. So well, that is convenient. Yeah, it was uh, good timing. What am I carrying that I'm? Oh, I was carrying 150, 1,500 stone on me. Hmm? I was carrying 1,500 stone on me, and I forgot to put it into the oh. into the uh, surround kit. Hmm. All right, so once we get this refinery going, we don't have to run the ore back and forth. We can just run it out and into the refinery. Yeah, so we're it's getting closer to being... Tunnel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we um, get, yeah, it gets us closer to making this and do just, you know, the mining thing. And then we can start building the actual base somewhere. Walkway, road, something. I don't know. That's one thing the game never came out with was like a road. You know, the assumption is you just ride over the dirt. Yeah. I think that's what attracted Jeff to that one scenario that he was we were playing with him so much was that there were actually roads built in the game that you could drive on the roads. Huh. Well, that's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, the next batch will get us the refinery working. And that's going to be easy to do. All right, five steel plates, and we have a refinery. Well, let's see. Oh my, here. Plus, okay. once we have the refinery and the assembler here, it'll make it easier to start. Mm -hmm. You know, make an actual entrance down into the tunnel and then build the walls. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, going to be going past the cobalt boulder on the way back in, so I'm going to stop and pick up another backpack full of cobalt. Well, that's cool, because you could use that to make... Um, that's the metal grids, right? Right. Well, by the time you do that, to get back here, that the... Uh, um, The assembler is already complete, so you can make the grids right away. Hmm. Three. Oh, wait, you need the refined cobalt. Is that the basic ascent refinery or the full refinery? Oh, man, I hope it's not the full refinery. I think you need the full refinery for, like, silver and gold, but I think the 
the basic one that will do cobalt. Oh, we'll find out. I don't remember. We spent so much time with... Yeah, well, there's a lump of cobalt ore in the seat of the, um, the pod. We have a functional refinery now. Next time I run over, I'll grab that cobalt and put that in the refinery. See where it gets us. Mm -hmm. Okay, stone, recycling. Yeah, the refinery does the scrap metal. Mm -hmm. The basic refinery does. Let's see what we got back here. All right, one steel plate. grabbed half the cobalt because there was more than I could carry. The thing we also have to watch though is our output space. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because we don't even have one storage container working yet. Alright. 15 sheets of scrap, some stone, the cobalt. The silicon, the iron, the nickel. Can we build a conveyor tube? Small steel tubes, which are waiting on. Iron ingots. Let's see if we've got any yet. Okay. Um, oh, we don't have enough power. Hmm. That's the problem. We have to turn this thing off because we aren't making enough power yet to power two of these things at once. So let's make the ingots first and then we'll that's a good point. I think you mentioned that just a few minutes ago too. Right about the power? Yeah you said something like one windmill is not enough. The windmill's enough, we just don't have a battery. So the windmill's cranking out power, and it's all going to waste. Yeah. Oh, we got to get a battery down. Any steel plates? I got one. can save ourselves the running. We just have to manage the power by hand. Plus, these are a lot quicker. So. Still need 
two metal grids and steel tubes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, we just need 11 steel tubes to have the connector going. And let's try putting a battery over here. Right, what kind of battery are we going to use? Talk about not having to make decisions. Yeah, really. <laughs> There's only one. Yeah, I know. That's. Um... So I was wondering why you were asking. It's like, I know. It's just. It's, um... I mean, it really is. Uh... Stripped down. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's like plain vanilla here. It's just. It's. Uh... Yeah, that, that is a scary little prospect. All right, I need steel plates. I'm going to throw it back over here in them. And the survival kit. Because i got to start that battery. Some more cobalt. Oh, yeah, that's right. I could bring cobalt back over. I'll take those computers over there too. Let's see if I got 20 steel plates yet. I got six. Um, so I brought over a ton of material. And they're like, here you go. Here's your two steel plates. Get out of here, kid. Like, <laughs> it didn't seem like that good of a deal, but. Oh, some motors are left here in the room. Cool. Things we didn't need. Steel tubes. Throw your cobalt in there. We'll put the hydrogen bottle back into the uh, pod. Throw this down here in the output bin, along with the displays, the interior plates, and the construction comps. If anybody needs it. Oh, and the motors too can go in there. All right. Let me start that other battery. I thought I picked up steel plates. No, I didn't. You know, there are some people that play this game and stream it, and they say things like, I'll do the mining after hours when you're not around, because it's boring. Mm. And it's like, you know, I want to hear you do the boring thing like mining, because I want to know how you survive it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Without ripping your hair out. Yeah, I mean, if you think it's boring, I mean, it's, it's one of those things in the game that just keeps you, lets you know you're alive. Mm. You feel the, the brush of the dirt in the mine as it rushes past your mask. and You know, the dizziness of you constantly getting lost in a hole in the bottom of the ground. All right, that should get me a few more steel plates. You can have two. Really just, there was two in the inventory when I went to it. Like, like just... <laughs> The sheer, the sheer demotivation. Okay, so we're short on iron ingots. Drag those across. Back up. Hmm. 
The birth of one battery. Okay, I'm temporarily shutting down the uh, refinery and turning on the assembler to get those tubes and those plates that we're looking for. Cool. Okay. So we'll switch it back over the other way again so we can get the iron that we need. <laughs> I don't think we got any stone in there. That's the thing. How far off is that? Is what? That iron deposit. Oh, you're going for iron? You're going big time. Well, it's two and a quarter kilometers away. So I think I'm just going to do the, the stone thing. Yeah. Well, the stone is right here. Right. Yeah. I think to go running for iron, we got to either have an automated rover or an automated mining ship. Cause, and again, without a full refinery, we're not going to get the maximum yield on it. Right. And you're going to be mad when you go out there and you find out that you only came back with like 8,000 pieces of it. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It's not like an iron asteroid. All right, so like here's 59 iron ingots. And that's going to get me... Let's see. 97. So we need like three iron ingots. Is it three? Two? A little less than two. Somewhere around two. For... Um, and we need ten for a play. Yeah, it's like a ten to one drop off on the... I remember having this conversation when we were trying to figure out what was cheaper to carry in, like, your emergency backpack. Mm -hmm. You know, the the parts. Large steel comps. Well, put these parts back. Is there anything else we need to start on right now? Uh, well, my health is, or my food is going down. I got 20. Uh, I, I think there's still some food in the, in the seat of the, uh. Yeah, but that's John's. Yeah, that's true. Are we going to take that from him and oh. fight the starving battle? We need to get some ice. If we get some water. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we could stand up the emergency kit. So maybe we should make an ice run. Come back with. You know, it'd be easier to make the ice run if we can get this container built. Can we yeah. get, can we get, we need two grids and 15 small steel tubes. Well, there's, if, if we get enough iron, we can make both of them. Yeah. Because we got cobalt for the, that's the other element to the grids, I believe. And, uh. It's the, and the cobalt's being refined. Yeah, it is. So. Or it, it's, it, there's already enough in there, I think, that we could maybe make the grids, but. Well, each of these engines gives one large tube and one metal grid, so. I just ground down the other two engines. I'm doing the last one right now. So we have the metal grids now. Okay. So let's... Wait, was there anything else in them? I ran away without checking the output of them. Oh, just a couple of pieces of them.
So now all we need is 15 small steel tubes. Um, let's make sure those are getting built first. And just queue up those 15. got cobalt ingots. It's being processed. Right. But it definitely flies through the iron much better than the survival kit. The problem again is the power. Let's shut that thing off. Let's turn this thing back on. Alright. Alright, so here's our cargo container. Okay. It's, man it's manual, but it gives us a place to store junk. We'll get it hooked up to everything else later. The only thing we need for the battery is a couple more steel plates. And, which we have right now. And okay. power cells. Power cells. Take silicon and iron. Yeah. So we should. You now the iron is in a little bit of short supply right now. But. Okay, so there's 80 of them queued up. And we need 80. Oh my god, I got that number right. It's like I was paying attention for once. Okay. So the battery is just needs power cells. The beacon needs large steel tubes and a couple more steel plates. So we're we're getting better. Um, if we make that um, refinery, is hundred percent no. The refinery still needed steel plates, too. Talk about cobbler shoes. All right, I'm shutting the assembler back off. Uh, we need a name for this grid. What did you say you called this place? Adventure uh, Discovery. <laughs> okay, Adventure Discovery Mine. since that's all that's over here. Small steel tubes, we need nine more of them. Do we have enough to make nine more? Production. Bone coming in. What's coming in? I just brought some more stone up. Oh, okay. Uh, let me see if I can turn it. Yeah, it's back on. Right, I'm gonna. Oh, okay. Well, that's a ton of stone already. It builds up, doesn't it? Yeah. And I got another backpack full, so I'm sticking it in the uh, small cargo container for now. I don't think that refinery is close to being full. It it was the the input side had four thousand out of four thousand. Oh, really? Well, it's actually easier to get to the cargo container because it's right there at the mouth of the tunnel. Right. And it's slowly churning through the cobalt.
Yeah, we're going to need some steel plates coming down here. Build a staircase or a ramp. And pick a depth to start setting up the drill because we... We should be getting close to be able to... Now we probably have half the parts to build the piston right now. Mm -hmm. I have no idea how close we are to a drill head, but... All right, 247. Let's see if we have enough power coming in. Nope. All right, keeping the assembler off. Assuming this thing is going to be operating on its own. Adventure Discovery Mine. We should be able to pretty close get to a... Oh! <laughs> we both can do it with a lot of confusion. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. that started this tunnel was an idiot. How do you mess up digging a hole in the ground? Okay, you said we still need tubes and plates? And cells. Okay. So if we can get that. Maybe, I think the... I, um, well, it's working on the cells now. I turned off the refinery again. And okay. I turned off the assembly. Well, let's get those cells because we need that battery. Okay. If we can get that battery working. Um, it looks like we're going to run out of iron before we get all of the cells produced. So. Well, there's another 293. We're, we're going to be pretty close. But yeah, we're definitely not going to make it, but we're, we're getting closer. We need um, to start, we need the blocks going down. Hmm. Now, is the, <clears throat> the list in the center, is that for the requirements for everything that's in production? Yeah, but if you hover over each of the items in queue, uh -huh. it'll filter it down to just that item. Okay. You know, so like you're going to get a big long list of like 20 components. And then if you, um, if you hover down, if you just click like hover over the one item, you'll see it's a much smaller list. Don't forget to check your power. Yeah, I just change it back over to the uh, refinery being on. No, no, I meant your suit power. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing okay.
Yeah, this is not the most efficient way to get plates out of this thing, but it's another power source. Keep us moving step by step. But yeah, the only thing that battery needs is um, the power cells, right? Yeah. This thing fully complete. Yeah, this thing's fully complete. Yep, just power cells. And this thing just needs the large tubes. This is complete. All right. Let's see if we can start working our way down here with some gridding. We definitely need to make these. Yeah, we got a lot more planning to do around here. tunnel going. Oh, sorry. Oh. You come and collect the rack that you're knacking out. That was an unexpected face to see in the... <laughs> wow. Yeah. I'm going to firm these up before we grind them down by mistake while we're, because if we're, if we're going to start, di you know, um, digging and building up the walls so that we can, you know, make the drill area down here, mm -hmm. we're going to need um, to not accidentally grind something off. <laughs> yeah. As I've been known to do from time to time. Mm -hmm. A lot of that has to depend on how how dangerous a grinder you're using. <laughs> the the elite grinder, look out! It's gonna take everything. <laughs> Okay, we're at 37 out of 80. Getting there. All right. Um, where did we need small steel tubes? I don't even remember. Oh, we needed them for the... There we go. We got a conveyor junction now. So we don't have to move stuff back and forth. We just don't have the power. So it, I have to go a little later today. We're picking up a Valentine's Day chocolate dessert charcuterie tray. Hmm. Apparently, um, one of the restaurants that we go to, that's one of the things that they made available for Valentine's Day is takeout service. I, um, I'm not actually sure what's going to be on it. You know, it just sounded different. And okay, okay, so... 30 more power cells, and we got all of them. Yeah, well, it's nice. This way you can access the everything for that one connection. piecemeal we're getting there. Alright, that'll get us 400 more iron. That should be enough to finish the battery. I think once the battery's finished, we should be mm -hmm. in good shape. Yeah, we'll have, we're going to have to be sitting there with the on-off switch. Alright, only 
All right, 10 more power cells and we're done with the 80 of them. Yeah, that'll get us out of having to do that. Why did it stop making them and go over to the other side? Because it probably didn't have enough. Hmm. You know, like it needed 10 and it only had 9. Yeah, all right, I'm going to switch it back over again. I saw an interesting thing yesterday while I was, well, over the last two days, you know, while I was with all the problems with the the Torch server and the IO, mod IO, Xbox thing. Right. Um, a, um, something that I had talked to Outwood about when we built that, uh, that repair grinder on that Barsoon Space Ops was a sensor so that if the sensor detected you know, an engineer, it would shut off the, the welders. Right. Or the grinders. Well, I saw that was for the grinders. I saw somebody do it in a welding room. Hmm. So that if anybody walked into the welding pit, it shut off the welders. Hmm. I thought, oh, that's, that's a nice safety feature. <laughs> yeah. Carrying as many batteries as I can, or power cells. We're at 56 out of 80. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this finishes us up. Some more stone. 74 out of 80. Let's see, can we? Yeah, switch it over so that the uh, assembler is going again. Yep. I... Okay, here's the last of those power cells coming out the door. Okay. All right, we should have a battery. And we do. There she goes. And fully built so she will be fully recharged in two days mm -hmm. so now we can start focusing on all the other stuff